the hell is this? What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And, um, bah. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say. Microsoft have just bought Activision Blizzard for $79 billion. Crazy. What the hell is going on? What is happening? Bro, listen, listen, listen. September, I want to take you back. Yeah. So almost two years ago. September 2020. What was it? September 21st? Something like that? Yeah, that was the day I think it was. I don't know why I remember that day in particular. Hmm. Well, um, they bought Bethesda for $7.5 billion. Dollars, seven point five billion. That was a rocket buster, absolute rocket buster. Yeah, because in an instant, instantaneously, they got what did they get? They got um, Dishonored, Fallout, Arcane Studios. They got a lot, basically. It was just ridiculous. If anything, it was too much what they got, yeah? Now, fast forward, almost two years later, they have just bought Activision Blizzard. They have now got Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush, and StarCraft. Crazy. They've got, um, what is it, Spyro. Heartstone, Guitar Hero, Crash Bandicoot, Tony Hawk, Call of Duty, Spyro. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. And they do put, there was a press release that they put out, yeah? And he did say, where is it? Let me find it. Let me find it. Something about CEO. Like, like it's this thing you say. I am like the gaming leadership team, right? And he was. I can't find it in here, man. It's not even a big press release. Yeah. Until this transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft will continue to operate independently. Only once the deal is complete, the Activision business will report to me. As CEO, Microsoft Gaming, the CEO is Phil Spencer. Shit! That is godlike, man. That is godlike. Bobby Kotick, you little tick, get the fuck out. But I want all those people, Activision Blizzard, to face their day of reckoning. They bloody, like, there's no way that they can get away with. What they have done. Yeah. There needs to be consequences for those people. No mercy. No escape for them. Let's see. If we can find. This Jason. Schreier. Right. Just see if there's any update. On this. Uh. In. Okay, yep, so this is new that I didn't see before. That uh, Jason Stry has put this is but this was about two hours ago, right? Uh he put this is an internal email Bobby Kotick sent to his staff, which is probably um typed up by some bot. Um he this is what he's put. Um the tick. Um the cockroach aka Bobby Kotick. 
Transactions like these can take a long time to complete until we receive all the necessary regulatory approvals and other customary closing conditions are satisfied, which will ex we expect to be sometime in June in Microsoft's fiscal year 2023, year ending June 30th. So we've got bloody hell, man. That's a year and a year and a half of this little cockroach still around but they still need to face consequences for their abuse of um, staff and people and treating people just like animals basically harassing them and allowing it to get through and protecting the abusers and sexual harassers and people died man people lost their jobs people have been traumatized because of this piece of shit Bobby Kotick and all his cohorts so they need to face consequences I mean I'm salty there is a part of me that is a bit salty because it's a massive payday for them yeah so that pisses me off man that they're gonna get so much money but the fact that they're going to be out just out of the company and just gone from gaming because that's the one thing that always irritated me is the fact that they've contaminated the our gaming space. Oh, yeah, and he's put. Um, we will continuous continue to operate completely autonomously. Yeah, that's like what my um, Phil Spencer said. He said that um, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will um, be separate entities until the transaction is complete. Yeah, so he says I will. This is what um, Kotick says. I will continue to see with the same passion. And if you, don't wind me up, bro. Don't wind me up. Not wind me up, right? Um, he's been on the journey for twenty one uh, for since nineteen ninety one, which is essentially thirty thirty one years, yeah, of just a rate of terror, a reign of terror, basically, just fucking um, spewing out incomplete, broken, bugged games every single year, just full of bullshit transactions just to like monopolize and uh, people's um passion and love for a game because they already like call of duty already had a pe um, people War world of warcraft already had people and those people are in love with those franchises and he's literally just just drained them of all their passion, all their love, all their enthusiasm for the game by just releasing incomplete games. And we know why the games have been incomplete. Because the way you've been treating your staff. You've been like sexually harassing them. You've allowed people to sexually harass them and just molest them and bother them and oppress them and just mentally traumatize the people. Then that's why the games have been suffering. Unbelievable, man. Of course, and this way he's put more. Of course, this announcement will give rise to so many questions. We will host a new, we will host numerous forums and events to make certain we address certain concerns. I'm incredibly. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear it. So yeah, it's on Jason Schreier's uh, thing. I'll put a link to um, the tweet from Bobby Kotick, the tick, um, on there. Um, yeah. So essentially. Yeah, that's it. It's unbelievable. That's what he was saying. I just don't even know what to say, man. It's just crazy. Seven. I'm sorry, 69 billion. And he per they purchased Bethesda for 7.5 billion. Holy moly. This is bad. For uh, PlayStation. Massive. This is a massive blow. Massive, dude. If I was Sony Microsoft. I'm sorry. Sony PlayStation. They need to be looking at um, Take-Two Interactive. Take-Two Interactive. EA. Capcom. Uh, Square Enix. Ubisoft, Sega, uh, who else, Namco Bandai, they need to be looking at people right now, 
Because I can see Microsoft looking at active um, electronic arts, Take Two Interactive, Square Enix, and being like, yeah, I think we'll have some of that. And this is massive blow, bro. Because, look, I don't think that they will make Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Overwatch exclusively on the Xbox. Yet. I think they will allow this cycle of games to go through as normal. And in the next cycle, which will be in, like, maybe... 2023, 2024, that's when we're going to start seeing the exclusivity. So, Sony need to move now. Now. Because this is an emergency. This is a massive blow. Massive, dude. Sony should start small. Go for Capcom. Square Enix. Sega. Ubisoft. Especially Ubisoft, because Ubisoft, that company's reputation is in tatters, right? Their market share is on an all-time low, and they are they are sinking faster than the Titanic. That company is on a nosedive, just like Activision Blizzard um, is. Yeah, I was about to say was, but it currently is, yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Like, what is what is happening? How do you just pop, just drop it? We're going to be buying... We're, we are um, going to be buying Activision Blizzard. Too much money, bro. Too much money, too much control, too much power. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. They, they, it's, they, it's too much monopoly. Way too much monopoly, man. Um, With these... With um Microsoft. You cannot control so much of the industry. You can't, man. It's too much. It's too much. You're not satisfied with with Wolfenstein. You're not, um um what is it? Happy with Dishonored? You're not happy with those games, no. You're not happy with um, Fallout. You got Arcane Studios, no. You need more. You're not happy with Doom. We've got to have Overwatch. We've got to have Call of Duty. We've got to have um, Hearthstone. We've got to have all those games. We're going to go for Riot, Riot Games next. It's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, bro. I do like... They, they did put a picture of um, the gaming leadership team in Microsoft. And it looks good, dude. It looks good. I like the um, the people that are in there. You know, it looks like a, a nice mixed bag of different people in there. I like it, dude. And no stinking Activision Blizzard uh, people in there. I like it. I like it, dude. Because, look, the more people you have in there and different types of people, the different perspectives and standpoints you can have, man. Bro, it, it's good. I like it. I like it. I see they got a human resources person in there, product services, chief of staff, gaming marketing, uh, cloud gaming... Gaming finance, gaming ecosystem, organization, Xbox game studios, gaming business development, game legal, gaming communications. Yeah. Ex um, experience development. And then the man, the CEO at the top of the pyramid, bro. Phil Spencer, CEO, Microsoft Gaming. Come on, dude. Come on. And Microsoft did say we did not like what we've been hearing about um, Activision Blizzard. We have sent them an email 
and we are talking directly to them and to sort this shit out sort the shit out we're buying your bitch asses I'm, I'm gonna kick the lot of you out. We're gonna keep the staff. We're gonna treat them right. You're gonna pay everybody off. Everybody that they, because they're still a year and a half. So they're still going to be in in um, legal hell. And they're gonna be um, facing that. And all that, all that type of stuff. And they're gonna be paying um, money to every single person that has been treated badly. Under the Activision Blizzard for the last 31 years, yeah, and that's then Microsoft will take over. So there's no mercy for them, no mercy. Until that time, they are still under the cosh. They're still facing it. Look, man. I've been know about um, Xbox Game Pass, bro. And PC Game Pass. PC Game Pass, bro. Even if you don't have a Xbox, there's still PC Game Pass. You know. I've got um, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate so that I can access my games on the PC. And I can act to, um, access my games on my um, Xbox console. Right? But yeah, that's crazy, man. If you don't have Xbox Game Pass, man, you need to. You get all EA games. And although I do consider myself more of an Xbox player, I prefer Xbox to PlayStation. I play my PlayStation significantly more, right? Because there's more games that I'm playing on the actual PlayStation. I'm playing Street Fighter. I'm playing Tekken. I'm playing Tales of Arise. I'm playing Scarlet Nexus. I'm playing Genshin Impact. I'm playing Marvel Avengers. I've got a lot of friends that I'm playing that game with, right? So I do play the PlayStation way more, right? I know, but I do watch YouTube when I'm on my PlayStation. But when I'm on my Xbox, I play different games. I will switch the games that I'm playing. Sometimes I'll play some Outriders. I'll play some uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah, I said Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I do like that game. I do play lots of different games. I play Tekken because uh, I've got Tekken on there. I play Monster Hunter. I play... Um, they released Mass Effect Legendary Edition, right? Which is amazing to me, right? All these games I've just mentioned... They're on Xbox Game Pass. I haven't paid for any of those games. Well, I pay for Xbox Game Pass. So I do pay for the... I, so I've subscribed to it. Yeah? So I've got Xbox Game Pass, which has allowed me to have all those games, bro. It's crazy. Crazy. Xbox Game Pass is godlike, man. But you're never going to know or be able to appreciate Xbox Game Pass if you don't have it. That's the one thing I will say. If you don't have it, but you've got a PC... Buy PC Game Pass. See how you feel. That's all I'll say. You won't be disappointed. And you got to remember, Xbox is still work is working on their cloud gaming. The worst thing that Sony could have heard was when Xbox said, "Gaming is the future." Is there a part here where they say it? I think there is. It's at the beginning, actually. Their press release that they released today, January 18, 2022, at 5.25am. This is what Phil Spencer yeah, has written. As a team, we are on a mission to extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. We all know that gaming is the most vibrant and dynamic form of entertainment worldwide and we've experienced the power of social connection and friendship that gaming makes possible. Yeah, this is what Sony don't want to hear Microsoft say because this means that they're invested. And when Microsoft says this, well, when Phil Spencer says this, I believe it. I don't feel like a bot has ripped that because when you listen to Phil Spencer talk, when you watch him, when you listen to him on podcasts, when he does interviews, when he does articles with people, he is very consistent. What he says in a video is very consistent with what you will read him say in a press release like this. So the man is believable. You can tell that Phil Spencer is a gamer. 
to be honest with you, in gaming, Phil Spencer is the best thing that has happened to gaming. He's the only person in terms of top, top people in gaming that I, I believe this guy. I believe this guy is the real deal and he is about gaming. I like Phil Spencer. When I look at the Xbox and I feel any kind of negativity towards it, I think of Phil Spencer and I say to myself, you know what? Microsoft got Phil Spencer. He'll fix it. I believe in that guy. That's how I feel about um, Phil Spencer, right? The guy, he, he, he ridiculous, man. He ridiculous. He's a good dude. I like Phil Spencer. Um, and he was smart, dude. From the beginning, he weren't worried about God of War. He weren't worried about Horizon Zero Dawn, Street Fighter V being exclusive, Guilty Gear, Tales of Arise. He weren't worried about all them type of games, man. Last of Us, Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man Miles Morales. You know what they're doing? Some need to do what they're doing and I'm happy for them. We're focused on Xbox Game Pass. Bethesda, 7.5 billion. Activision Blizzard, 79, 69 billion. Okay, Phil, we get it. We get it now, bro. We get it. As I said, the Monopoly. I don't like the Monopoly. It's too much market share, too much power, too much, way too much money, too much control of the gaming space, right? Listen, man, we need competition. We need competition, bro. Without competition, if you have one company dictating so much of the market share in gaming, then they control everything. They can dictate how things go. So we don't know if we're getting a good deal or a bad deal or not. Well, we do. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's one thing I want to see. About Phil Spencer. Because a lot of companies are into NFTs. And if, if Phil Spencer likes NFTs. It's not good. Head of Phil Spencer has confirmed the use of NFTs in gaming space. And it's clearly. Oh he's not a fan. He is not a fan of NFTs. Lovely. Lovely. Because I don't want to hear nothing about NFTs, man. I don't like NFTs. NFTs is a scam, basically. And it's, you, it's it's aimed at people with way too much money. And they don't know what to do with it, essentially. Listen, man. It's a scam for people to make money out of people that have got money. That's it. If you're not... Because you've got a lot of dealers in um, NFTs, Yeah. And they do not care at all about um, what's the word I'm looking for when you steal when you um, steal the idea or the design of another artist. It is plagiarize, yeah. When they plagiarize other artists or you know the middlemen, right? I mean artists that are into NFTs, cool. The middlemen that are making the most money. All the frauds don't like them, and I don't want to hear gaming because gaming is just um, in NFTs is essentially just making money, having the gamers do the work in order for them to make money. So the fact that this company, Microsoft Gaming, is becoming way too powerful, if you ask me, yeah, and they're not into NFTs, I'm delighted about that. I'm delighted about it, right? So yeah. That means, you know, Activision Publishing, Blizzard Entertainment, Beanox, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, Major League Gaming, Radical Entertainment, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, Trey Arch. They're all going to be with uh, Microsoft. If everything goes smoothly, uh, by June the 30th, 2023. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. This is crazy bro so i want to know what you guys think my mind is completely blown from this yeah and as i said before right i do feel that microsoft 
Um, I hope, as I said, I won't be surprised if they bought Activision Blizzard. I'm sorry, they bought e um, Electronic Arts Take Two or something like that. But hey, Sony, call Konami, bro. Call Konami, call Capcom, Sega, Square Enix, Ubisoft, Namco Bandai. Call them. Call them. Make the deal. Because they need to make a deal quickly before Microsoft makes that deal. And don't put it past Microsoft not to make a deal like within the next couple months. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if they called and said, oh yeah, welcome Konami to our team. Welcome Ubisoft to Microsoft Gaming. They will now report to us. They will report to me, Phil Spencer. The CEO of Microsoft Gaming. <laughs> Warriors, this is crazy, man. I uh, wonder what you guys think. Please, uh, comment section. We need to talk about it. Because this is too crazy for me, man. Bro. Alright, Warriors. Take care. Stay blessed. And catch you in my next video.